Hi guys. This morning we're at Bold Point Park and I'm doing a little scientific test here. I got these motor covers by a company called Sunnyside for the Mini 2. I wanted to get these covers to protect the motors. They're wide open. I do a lot of hand launching and landing, so I'm not so much worried about that. But any dirt, dust in the air, especially when I'm flying at the beaches, I, I just want to make sure that I protect this drone. But um, there was a concern brought up. A good friend of mine, uh, Mike Blade, brought up to the point to me as well. He said, uh, why don't you do a test on it to see if it's true that they heat up or they, you know, they insulate these motors. I don't see it happening to a point of concern this time of the year or a day like today, it's in the, you know, the mid to low 30s. But today will give me an indication as to if there does make a difference and then I could pay attention to it, especially in the summertime when it's 80, 90 degrees, maybe I'm flying on the beaches, the high sun's beating down that day. But uh, I'm kind of curious as to the response uh, to see how these work out. Now, I do just have this little infrared uh, generic little uh, you know temperature reader that I got from Lowe's so is it highly scientific test no but it'll give me an indication either way I picked this area try to give a little scenery while we're flying around you know try to give something to do but uh, I figured the way I'll do this is I don't have the covers on right now I'm gonna fly it for maybe like 10 minutes let them really warm up see what the temperature is taking off and how it is coming back and then I'll do the same with the covers on I'll try to make sure the temperature is about the same taking off as close to it as possible. Let's see what we see. So the ice fishermen are doing that thing, drilling the holes. And what's cool is in a few weeks when it really warms up and melts, those holes crack out. It creates this abstract outlook. I got a picture a couple of years ago with the first Mavic Air. I just, I wasn't expecting it. And I was kind of shocked when I seen it. So I'm hoping in a few weeks I can get another, another photo of that, try to capture that moment. Let's, uh, let's put this bird up in the air a few times, bring it back, and let's see what we see. Okay, so after doing our testing, after flying out there a bunch of times with or without the motors, here's what I found. In normal flying modes, 12 to 13 minute trip around, coming back was about five degree difference from with the motors off to with the motors on. In sport mode, really whipping it around, again, 10 minutes of whipping around, there was almost a 10 degree difference of with the motors off and with the motors on. So again, nothing too crazy. Now. With all that being said, it is in the 30s today, March, New England. So I do want to do this again when it's the higher temperatures, 80s, 90s, maybe in June, July, August, and uh, see if it's something that's going to do more harm than good. I bought them to protect the motors. I do not want them to do more harm. So we'll see. But if you if you have any questions about how these fit and how they work or with or without, you know, anything that I missed, hit me up below. Let's get into a good discussion. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time. Later.